everyone you are welcome to another <clears throat> edition of uh, victor isibo reviews today i'll be um looking at two small scale uh businesses now for first timers on this channel you're welcome to this channel <clears throat> do well to hit the red subscribe button below turn on your notifications so that you'll be the first to know when i do another video and if you're a returnee thank you for coming back We'll keep putting out great content so that you can always learn <clears throat> about finances, wealth creation, and money management. Today, I want to compare, I want to look into two small-scale businesses. I know that uh, <clears throat> the reason uh, many people don't want to start businesses is, uh, you know, because of availability of capital. And now, uh, in this video, I want to... Um, tell you what it takes not financially uh, I'm not going to be giving you costs of materials because I do not want to restrict myself to a particular currency because this video is meant for anybody in any part of the world and they can they can benefit from this video so I don't want to restrict myself to currencies because prices can change but I know that these things are very affordable and if you have a good savings plan you should be able to execute it. But I'll just give a range. These two businesses are businesses that are profitable and that will not cost you too much, you know, to start up. Okay? So, um, basically, with um, about $2,000, two thousand dollars or uh, in naira about uh, seven hundred and twenty thousand naira you should be able to start these businesses okay and now i want to look at laundry business and it's dry cleaning business and running a barber shop okay I would like to start with dry cleaning first of all um, the dry cleaning business is very profitable and you know the lifeblood of every business is um, you know marketing you should be able to market your product you know put the word out there let people know what you do and um, I think that is essential for every business okay so um, do it dry cleaning business you need ironing stand you need a pressing iron you need a washing machine um, I suggest you buy a washing machine that comes with a dryer compartment the industrial type you know um, when you have a washing machine with the dryer compartment it saves you space you don't have to put a washing machine here look for another place to put a dryer no two compartments wash here dry here you know I don't mean a spinner I mean uh, a dryer when you put your clothes in there and you're bringing it out it's going to be very hot then if you have space you can just buy a washing machine and a dryer <clears throat> okay then of course um, you have packs nylon packs where you pack the clothes for delivery purposes you have something like name tags on top of it uh, you need a small office space uh, you need access to water uh, so preferably if there's a, a borehole in the compound fine and you're all set okay then you need someone to run the business preferably look for someone who has experience running a laundry running a dry cleaning um, office someone who's been in the business probably you offer them a higher pay and they start working for you while working for you you understudy them okay so setting up the place is not something difficult it's it's a service that you're rendering and you're buying quality quality machines so that you don't have to be spending money on maintenance every time <clears throat> of course finally you need power uh, for people in um, uh, countries where there's steady supply of power uh, you don't have that issue 
but for countries where you have epileptic power supply you need a generator okay so you need a generator to run the business very well now who are the target people you have professionals people who wear suits a lot you know uh the the the, the leo they need a professional touch with their clothes so when people are going for occasions some traditional attires uh, with intricate ironing patterns they don't want to do it themselves they don't want to ruin the clothes so they take them to the dry cleaners okay so now you have to put the word out there you may have to create a facebook page create an instagram page put the word out there that this is what you do you may need to print um, a business card. You may, you might need to register a business name for you to give yourself some form of legitimacy and corporateness. You know, you you you, you register a business name, print cards, okay? Print cards, get into your car, drive to the nearest bank around you, ask to see some of the customer care agents. After discussing your issue on the side, just drop your cards. People don't know how important cards are. You know, several times I've patronized people because I saw what they do on cards. And I've been thinking, I need to do this. How? Who do I know who does this? Who do I know who does this? Then I stumble on the card. And I, I stumble on the card and I'm like, okay, I need to give this person a call. This person does this. Okay, so have flyers, have cards. Give it to people. Your phone numbers are there. Somebody will reach you and, you know, uh, probably patronize you. Another thing is that the people you want to reach out to probably have a dry cleaner that is working for them already. So you should be ready to give them some extra incentive. Maybe you're going to be doing pickups and deliveries. Okay. They just give you a call. You go to their places, their offices, their homes, pick up the clothes and do delivery. Make sure you deliver fast and you put the word out there. See, running a business, starting a business is not difficult like people think it is it's not difficult it is the marketing aspect of it that is kind of tricky and takes patient you know to build clientele to build trust and to build a brand it takes time so you do delivery make sure you have a business name make sure um you you have a decent place where you do you see laundry business you don't really need to have a beautiful office and stuff like that you know your work should speak for itself you know how fast you deliver is the matter okay now i'll give you an extra tip with guys who might be interested in going into laundry business okay um there is a new machine uh called foldimate that foldimate kind of presses the clothes and folds them so you find out that your employee working at your laundry is just going to be doing mostly maybe bookkeeping and record keeping because because you know he puts the clothes in the washing machine when they are washed brings them out put them in the dryer when they are dry put them out put them in folding mate and folding mate you know uh folds the clothes and irons it you know uh it may not be available in your country but it's it's in some countries worst case scenario your employee would iron the clothes so look for somebody who is very adept with pressing irons to iron clothes and fold them beautifully package them put name tags on it and you deliver them okay so when you do home delivery and you do pickups it's going to make you have more clientele be ready to give people discounts uh especially first time customers you know so as to be able to secure them okay and you're good to go you can even run this business from the comfort of your home you don't need an office if you're doing delivery and pickups you know so you start small and you scale up from there okay with $2,000, you should be able to start this business very conveniently. And um, that's about 720000 uh, in, in, in for Naira equivalents of it, okay? Now, <clears throat> another business, another side hustle you can have is own a barber shop, okay? Barbing, people have their hair cut recurrently. It's a recurrent expenditure for people. You know, I always tell people, business people, entrepreneurs, to leverage on recurrent expenditure offer services that satisfy that meets recurrent needs see if you run a restaurant people will eat every day if you sell water people drink water every day if you run transport business people take transport every day now 
having haircut people have the average man has his hair cut twice a month you know for people who go bald who like skin cut they have their hair cut at least once a week okay so you're not a barber you do not have the skill you can open a barber shop well equipped air conditioning good clippers nice mirrors fine chairs beautiful place and you put out an advert three barbers needed there are so many people who have the skill but they do not have the money to start up they will come and work for you they will barb for you so you use that time to understudy them and another thing is whilst they are barbing part of the agreement you enter into before you employ them is the sharing formula if for instance air cut is a hundred dollar you could say okay let's go 60 40 i own the place i run the uh expenses for fuel i run the expenses for paying the light bills so let's go 60 40 so if somebody pays a hundred dollar for air cut i'm taking sixty dollars you're taking forty dollars it is if it is one thousand naira, i'm taking six hundred naira. you're taking four hundred naira. now you have like three barbers barbing for you three sets of mirrors three chairs three clippers and they are barbing and you're getting your commission from each of them okay so gradually you try to learn from them so that once a while when there's pressure and uh, you'll be able to assist and you'll be able to work your way up as well okay so um these are small scale businesses that have the potential of giving you steady steady income if you set your mind to it and you start it now marketing is the lifeblood of every business guys and you have to be able to market your business put the word out there and you're going to be making a lot of money you know i i i, I speak mostly uh for to 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 meet the needs of busy professionals okay if if you're busy you have another hustle you have another business that you're doing full time these two businesses are businesses that you can run hands off you know so what you do is monitoring and you follow up with what they are doing okay so um it's a very interactive section and um i want to read in the comments below um what other businesses do you think are low capital startups and are hands off where you can just do monitoring invest um uh, for a little and you know get some steady returns you know these two businesses are services you invest one time and what happens is you keep getting your returns it's not your typical buying and selling uh business thank you for watching this video i hope that with this video you are challenged to want to venture into one business or the other remember do not despise the days of your little beginnings do not be afraid to start small do not be intimidated that you do not have enough to start big as a matter of fact it is advisable to start small even if you have big capital remember you don't test the depth of a river with both feet you're gonna drown so don't feel intimidated you're starting small you're actually supposed to start small okay so till i see you next time i remain victor isibo bye for now